Hello guys, welcome to Filmy Explain. Today I'm going to explain an adventurous, thriller, crime, movie called, The Career Opportunities. The film starts with the news outbreak being reported about the notorious suspects of a murder. In Salzburg, Nestor Pyle and Jill Kinney the victim is killed in a robbery case. That has alerted the cops in the public. Jim is a stupid absolutely lazy and lying teenage guy tries to debunk the case. After reading the newspaper, Jim acts as if he's a professional reporter, reporting his facts. As he tells his pet audience that he's a former staff in the Federal Bureau of Investigation Crime Unit. While Jim brags about his assessment to his pet audience, someone from behind him sneaks into the room where he currently stays. To Jim's surprise his boss hubby kicks the foot of the chair which causes him to fall to the floor itself. After some time hubby drags Jim to the door and sends him out of the animal hospital that he works for. Hubby told Jim that he's firing him from his work. Jim narrates another life from the kids he knew from the town. He keeps on telling his fictional stories. It can be observed from these little children's faces that they like Jim's words. Jim brags about his European explorations and investments and elaborates on his business in foreign countries. Jim goes to his former employer in the gas station to negotiate being rehired once again to the small business. However, Jim's boss knows better. Jim is lazy and incapable of performing his job correctly. Jim's boss declines his bargain despite his free service offer and encourages Jim to consider St. Louis. A while later a gorgeous lady, Josie, who is none other than a spoiled rich girl vibe arrives at the gas station to fill her car's tank. Jim Hartmeter gets captivated by her beauty as he shamelessly stares at her features. Josie sees Jim who is positioning himself with a cool guy, postured to impress her. The two exchange flirtatious smiles until Jim's father Bud breaks their eye contact. When he grabs his attention to scold him about his joblessness once again, but confronts Jim after receiving a call from hubby to report that his son is already terminated from his work. Jim denies Bud's accusation and defends himself by telling his father that he resigned. Upon hearing Jim's excuses Bud drags Jim towards his cement mixer truck trying to bring him home and knock off some senses into his delusional son. While the Dodge family having their dinner, Jim's family criticizes him of losing his job and being jobless, but is tired of Jim's laziness and no life direction, so he warns Jim to bear the payment for his rent. Upon hearing these absurd remarks, Jim oxide and goes to his room to sleep. Morning arrives but drives Jim Port's target to push him for an interview, or Jim will be put on a bus to St. Louis to work as a gardener. Jim tries to fail the interview as he doesn't like the idea of working at Target, but the hiring manager offers Jim a good deal. As he mistook him for an operational manager, Jim acts so highly and pretends to be a high-profile applicant. However, a telephone call interrupts their interview which allows a hiring manager to discover that Jim is a fraud. So he immediately settles the misunderstanding and hires Jim in a low-paying position. A night cleanup boy at Target, having no other choice with Bud's warning. Jim agrees to this position, he continues, staying at their house. Josie's abusive father Roger entertained some visitors in his house, namely Bob and Dave. Roger sees his daughter around the living room to introduce Josie to him. Affiliates, and the latter goes in their direction to greet them. But to Roger's surprise Josie performs an unexpected stunt as she drops a smooch on Bob's lips. Upon introduction the disbelief honest face manifests his anger and disappointment with his rebellious action poor Josie. So, when night arrives Roger confronts Josie in her room and threatens to hurt her too. Discipline her for her shameful behavior. The car is parked in the dark area containing a couple who are exchanging sweet smooches from inside. Suddenly, the suspects from the robbery case Nestor and Jill appear, which startles the man and lady from their makeout session. The suspects drags a couple outside to steal their vehicle and make it a getaway car. But and her wife clean their backyard when they see a limousine parking in their driveway. Jim suddenly exits their front door as his first day at work arrives but questions the presence of the luxurious vehicle. Jim explained that it will send him on. His work at Target, a welcoming reward. He gives himself on his first day. Jim's parents only watch their son's unbelievable departure as he leaves full of pretension and deception about his current position at Target. Josie browses Target style as she chooses several items and decides to shoplift for every product that reaches her taste. She either hides it inside her coat or wears the clothing above her clothing. Josie expertly hides the goods despite the threat of being caught on the other hand. At last Jim finally reaches his destination place and starts acting like the operational manager and requests one of the sales clerks to fix the goods in the stall. After a while the radio announces that the store will be closing, which indicates the start of the shift. 
Upon hearing the announcement, Josie feels bothered by her decision to shoplift, so she goes to the dressing room. Meanwhile, the store gets closes and Jim receives an orientation with his job description. From his grumpy and bossy head custodian due to his intimidating approach Jim follows them around the massive store as he informs them about the duties that he needs to accomplish. After telling him everything, Jim comes to know that he'll be left alone inside the store till 7 in the morning and they will turn off the lights to reduce electricity usage. Being rebellious, Jim as he defies the head custodian's order and turns on the electricity to flood target with light. Jim does his job starting with by sweeping, wiping, vacuuming and throwing the garbage inside. But Jim being lazy has to do his task as fast as he can. So, he uses cleaning machines and several materials to make his job easier and faster. When he pushes the trolley containing the trash towards a disposal area, he sees it he is all night and yet he's almost done with his work. Jim decides to take a break. Jim explores the stores as he eats, reads, plays and even watches a movie on the television. Due to his boredom, Jim entertains himself to waste some time and energy as time passes by Jim wearing his tank. Top and boxer shorts uses roller skates to roam the massive store on his own. Surprisingly, he sees somebody observing him, but chooses to ignore it, as he knows he's alone in Target when Jim smoothly glides his skates to continue his activity. He notices Josie who is staring at him as if she is waiting for his arrival with Josie's sudden appearance. Jim smacks himself in three stalls, displayed in an aisle, and loses his balance. Officer Don and Roger search for Josie's whereabouts as she escapes from her father's house. Roger seeks to find her rebellious daughter as midnight almost waves at them. Roger orders Officer Don to continue their search, party to locate the missing Josie. Jim interrogates Josie as he wonders about her presence inside. Target, despite the shop being closed for five hours, Josie reveals that she fell asleep in the dressing room as she decided to shoplift, or not just to anger and embarrass her abusive father. After that Jim and Josie feel hungry so they choose to maximize their resources and consume Target's products. During their meal Jim reveals that everybody views Josie as a flirtatious teeth. While Jim is labeled as the town's biggest liar, Josie and Jim start to reconnect during their conversation and realize that their lives are somehow similar. Josie and Jim discuss their life situation as they figure out what their personal and familiar struggles are. However conflicts in, their conversation arises and upon hearing the offensive remarks from Josie's mouth, Jim walks off to blow off some steam. But Josie perseveres to swoon the offended Jim and encouraged him to become true to himself. So, she does everything to persuade him to forgive her. Meanwhile the suspects from the store robbery stop near Target and plan to rob the vast store. Josie tells Jim about her abusive experiences from her father's hand, so she's willing to escape and invites him to elope with her with 520 in her purse. Josie convinces Jim to run the way with her when morning comes. Josie tells Jim that they need a getaway car that will help them accomplish their plan. After that Josie offers to fulfill a wish from Jim before sunrise and the latter requests to finish their unfinished homecoming high school dance. Josie is amazed by Jim's desire. She expected something advantageous from him, so she granted Jim and Josie began to form a romantic connection. After the romantic dance this allows Jim and Josie to level up their relationship as they become sweet and explore each other's bodies. However their lovey-dovey session is interrupted by Officer Don's arrival. As he notes the lights open in Target, Officer Don also asks Jim about Josie's whereabouts, but he denies meeting her before her disappearance. Jim tries suggesting places where Josie might have stayed. So, the officer takes his bait and returns to the police car where Roger waits upon hearing useless information. Roger orders Don Jerome and search the area together to check and find his missing daughter. After that Jim and Josie enjoy their freedom to explore and enjoy the store's amenities. They use the roller skates together as they become lovey-dovey as if they're a couple who are dating. Suddenly, they notice Nestor and Jill waiting for their arrival as they point their gun at them. Two, to their fast approach they bump into each other and Jill. But it didn't stop those notorious robbers from taking them hostage. Nestor and Jill interrogate their captives to gather helpful information to accomplish their plan. Jim comes up with the plan and tries to deceive them. Culprits using his lying skills, his makeup story deceives Nestor and Jill for a while. Unfortunately, Jim is deceived by believing Nestor and Gil to carry toy guns. Nestor and Jill retrieve their weapons as they prove the authority of their weapons. Josie comes up with another plan. She'll use her title of being a tease to persuade the criminals not to hurt them. Josie uses her alluring beauty to capture Nestor and Jill and distract them by leading them on. Josie seduces both males as she sexually rides the toy horse on target. 
encouraging Nestor and Jill to bring their guard down. When the toy stops moving, Josie asks the boys for some coins to continue their ride. Nestor comes over and tries flirting with her. Josie accomplishes her mission she's got. These criminals right in the palm of her hand. Through the help of Josie, Nestor and Jill rob Target and collect the goods that they find helpful. Josie uses her charm to lure Nestor so that he'll be kind and will not hurt her, and Jim in the process of robbing the store. However Jim notices that Josie sides with the criminals, so he asks her to stop her stuns but the woman declines to Jim's surprise Nestor and Jill take over, as they warn him to stop meddling with their business. When Nestor, Jill and Josie decide to leave they decide to arrange the things they have gathered for the car they stole. Nestor and Jill are in charge of organizing the pieces of stuff from the truck, while Josie stays pretty on the side and watches them. When Josie knows that Nestor and Jill are distracted enough she uses this time to enter the car and escape. The two are helpless to Josie's move and the woman to seize them. So, they have decided to go back inside to locate Jim. Jim now knows better he goes to the head custodian's locker to pick up his gun that he can use to defend himself from the criminals. Jim prepares himself to capture Nestor and Jill and then hides before executing his little announcement distraction plan. Nestor and Jill take the speed and are overwhelmed that tables have turned. Jim can easily disarm them and now they are the hostages. In the meantime, Roger and Butter were having their dinner in a breakfast bar where both of them look tired and rusty, which can be seen on their faces in the morning. Officer Don arrives at the destination and checks the status of the Catholic-looking store. He does his investigation and matches the surroundings, and sees Nestor and Jill both being tied up, looking pitiful while sitting in the lounge chair displayed in the store. The film ends when Josie comes back to pick Jim up as his shift completes before they decide to leave. Jim and Josie ride the limousine to check the town once more. Jim and Josie choose to run away from their old lives and are now lounging next to a pool and enjoying their new lives. It's a start for them. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you have enjoyed the video and subscribe if you are new to my channel. See you in my next review. Don't forget to hit the bell icon.